Hi friends. Today I am going to explain the movie name called The Monkey King Reborn. Before that. For more interesting videos please do subscribe and turn on the bell icon. Let's get started. In the starting of this film, we get to see Wu Jing and Piggy. Wu Jing tells Piggy that when the universe was created, energy used to flow in the form of light and the energy that sank below resulted in the creation of Earth. At that time, a demon named Yuan Di took birth and he was very powerful. Wherever he went, every living organism turned into demons. That's why he decided to merge all the three worlds. So that he could be the ruler of heaven. Just to stop him, a Buddhist came. But he failed. Even the soldiers of heaven couldn't stop him. A disciple of Buddha, chose a great sacrifice to stop him. Where with the help of his soul, the demon was buried inside the earth. The land where he was buried turned black and cold. And according to this book, Yuan Di could transform everyone into demons. When Piggy listened to this story, he says, you tell me this story every time just after changing the names. Then he snatches his book and they both then start fighting. Then we get to see a calm Buddhist master who was waiting for his disciple, Sun Wokong. Then there arrived Piggy and Wu Jing who were still fighting. Actually Piggy and Wu Jing were also disciples of that master. Then we get to see the main character of this film, Sun Wokong. Who makes a grand entry while traveling through the mountains with the speed of light. And then gives his master some water to drink. Actually he went there just to get some water. When Piggy and Wu Jing get to know that Wokong traveled a long distance just to get some water. They were left completely shocked. The next day they visited Wuwang Temple. And when they arrived at the temple, there came two young keepers of that temple, who took them inside the temple. That temple was huge, and Piggy and Sun Wokong could be seen doing mischief there. And without any permission of their master, they play with the things lying there. Then we could see their master, who shows respect to the holy lake in front of him. Then we get to see Piggy, who says Sun Wokong that if they could help them out, would be gifted a treasure which was in the form of a fruit. And when the keepers of the temple reach the holy tree to get the fruit, then Piggy and Sun Wokong disguised as caterpillars also follow them. When they both reach near the holy tree, they were amazed after seeing it. Because that tree was extremely beautiful and its fruits were extremely unique. After the keepers left, then Piggy and Sun Wokong gets near the tree. And decides to eat its fruit. When Wokong gets one fruit, one of them falls on the ground. Just when Piggy tries to eat it, the fruit disappears. Sun Wokong then understands that this is an elusive place. Then he pulls out its keeper from the ground and asks him about his fruit. Then the keeper tells Wokong that this is a fruit named Sapodia. Which is also called ginseng. And it takes 10,000 years for a holy tree to be prepared. And it can only give 30 fruits and after consuming one fruit, he would stop aging for 47,000 years. Then Wokong picks three ginseng fruits and takes and consumes them with his friends. And when the keepers get to know about this, just to confirm this, they started to count the fruits and they found out that four fruits are absent. And when the keepers asks them about this, Wokong says that he had one fruit and there's nothing to be surprised about. Then there arrives Wokong's master and he then asks him about the situation. Then the keepers reveal that this monkey stole four fruits of ginseng. Then Wokong agrees and says that he only took three. This led to an argument and they all started fighting. Meanwhile, the keepers told Wokong that he is useless and a demon. This gets him mad and he then destroyed all the fruits. And then he uprooted the whole tree with the help of his stick. Then there arrived the master of the keepers, Junyuan Ji with his disciples. Then the keepers reveals that the three mischievous disciples of the master stole the fruit of ginseng. And one of his disciples, Wokong, destroyed that holy tree. Then Junyuan asks his disciples to make a demon protecting shield on the surface of the holy tree. So that Yuan Di won't be able to get free. Golden Sakara asks him for forgiveness after seeing Junyuan Ji. Then Junyuan Ji says to him that, they all treated them with respect. But his three disciples treated them very badly. He then traps three of them. Then here, the shield breaks and Yuan Di gets free from the roots of that holy tree. And takes Master Sakara with him. Here Wokong tries his best to free himself but he fails. Then Junyuan Ji tells Wokong that, it took a lot of efforts to trap Yuan Di. But he set him free by uprooting the holy tree. Now he will try his best to merge all the three worlds which will lead to the destruction of the earth. 
Wo Kong then says, You are the ancestors of gods, then why are you afraid of him? He then says that he can save his master only if he is set free. And if he could free him, he believes that he could also trap Yuan Di. On this Jun Yuan Ji says that, if he wouldn't be able to trap Yuan Di, then he would trap him under the mountains forever. Wo Kong then accepts this challenge and then Jun Yuan Ji sets him free. Then the three of them left. Then Jun Yuan Ji sent his disciples to the God of Heaven, Emperor Zeth to inform him about this situation. And here Yuan Di wherever he passes from, every living organism is possessed by his demonic powers. Yuan Di hides himself and the master, Golden Sakara in the mountains. A lot of demons could be seen there. All the demons thought Yuan Di to be a sea creature but. Their leader tells them that it's not a sea creature but the ancestors of all demons, Yuan Di. Just after knowing this, all the demons pays him respect. Yuan Di then tells them that he was trapped under the land for years. Just because of this, he lost his old body. He then orders them to take care of Golden Sakara until he gets his body back. He then says that he will merge all the three worlds just after three days and no one could stop him. Then we get to see Wokong and his two friends who were in search of Yuan Di. Then a small creature appeared from Wu Jing's basket. Who then says that he is the holy soul who trapped Yuan Di. But Wokong doesn't believe in him and he then sends him away. He then pulls out the god of land and asks him about the location of Yuan Di. He then says that he is hiding in the mountains. Then all three of them reach out to the mountains in search of him. Yuan Di somehow gets to know that someone is in search of him. Then Yuan Di sends his demons to kill that holy soul. Then we get to see that the holy soul was in a village with Wokong and his friends. Then we could see that all the villagers ran away in fear after seeing Wokong. Then there arrived the demons of Yuan Di. Wokong, after hiding that pure soul, starts to fight all the demons. Then we could see the villagers were being possessed by those demons. Then some demons went in search of that pure soul. Just when the demons were about to catch him, Wokong came and sent them away. Then we could see that pure soul who was sad after watching the villagers in trouble. Then that soul cured all the people who were possessed with his powers. Then we get to see those demons, who could be seen explaining Yuan Di that, they were just about to catch the soul. But there arrived King Wokong and he saved him. After listening to this, he was frustrated. And then he sends his demonic souls to kill that pure soul. Here we get to see Wokong and his friends, who gets in the temple of the god of the mountain just to get the location of Yuan Di. But the gods were not present there. So Wokong sends Piggy and Wu Jing to find the god. Then the demonic souls came into the temple, and hides itself in the statue of that god. Just when the demonic soul was about to kill the pure soul. Wokong saves it in time. And then the fight between them starts. Then his friends also arrived who helped him to fight the demonic souls. Just when Wokong strike the head of the god with his stick. All the demonic souls left his body and the god of mountains came back to senses. Then Wokong asks him about the location of Yuan Di. Then the god points towards the mountain named Millennium and says that Yuan Di is there. Then we could see that Millennium Mountain, where all the demons were celebrating the freedom of Yuan Di. Then we get to see Yuan Di in his original form. And here in the middle of the way, that pure soul asks Wokong that, who named him Wokong. He then says that his master named him Wokong. Wokong says to that pure soul that it is more important to know about him rather than knowing who gave him his name. Then the pure soul replies, do you know about yourself? Then Wokong says that he know everything about himself. He then says that he is a demon who was created by a magic stone. Then the pure soul replies that they are all bad demons but he have a heart. So he is a good demon. Then the pure soul falls asleep. Just when the soul fell asleep, Wokong surrounded it with a shield and made his way to the Millennium Mountain with his friends. Because Wokong didn't want it that the pure soul to came with him. Because he was in the form of a kid. Then Wokong, Piggy and Wu Jing arrived at the Millennium Mountain. Where a lot of demons can be seen then all of them started to fight. When Piggy started to fight, everyone thought him to be powerless and fought him. Then Piggy turns into a giant and smashes all the demons under his feet. And here Wokong killed the demons mercilessly with his stick. And then just with the help of his hairs, he make an army of monkey kings. Who helped them to fight all the demons. Then there came Yuan Di and asks Wokong to give him that pure soul. But Wokong moves forward to kill him. Then the fight between them started and then Wokong's friends arrived. Who helped Wokong to fight Yuan Di. 
But Yuan Di alone was dominating them all. He then beats them all mercilessly. Then Yuan Di saw that pure soul and he then approached him. But Wokong tried his best to stop him, but Yuan Di this time beats him really hard. And when Wokong's friend reached there to help him, Yuan Di killed both of them. And when he reached there to kill that pure soul, he was unable to do that because of a protective shield around him. So he uses all of his powers to destroy that shield from inside. But then Wokong came there and tried to protect that soul. Then that soul was sad after seeing Wokong taking his last breath. Then Yuan Di brings his master and kills him in front of his eyes. Then that pure spirit gives Wokong his soul, but he denies to take it. Because if he did this, that pure soul would die. Just when Yuan Di was about to kill Wokong, that pure soul tries to stop Yuan Di but Yuan Di kills that pure soul. Just because of this, his soul gets into Wokong's body and he comes back to life again. And here Yuan Di starts to merge all the three worlds. But to stop him, Wokong arrives and attacks him with his stick. Then we could see a deadly fight between them, where Wokong attacks him with his stick. But at the end, he hits him on his head so hard that Yuan Di dies on the spot. Just after Yuan Di's death, all the dark clouds disappeared and Wokong's friend also came back to life. They were crying after losing their master. Then they could hear a noise from behind. And when Wokong looks back, he sees his master Golden Sakara. And after seeing him, everyone became really happy. Then we get to see Goddess of Mercy, who plants the seed of that holy tree in that same spot. Then the holy plant grows again and the story ends here. Yeah. Yeah.